Hi friends, it's Mano Sukla from English Insight. This time, I'm back to you with the same lesson, but with a new concept. So what's the lesson? This is passive. Passive is the same lesson as we have already discussed earlier. But the concept is new. The concept is how to turn an imperative sentence in active voice to passive voice. But uh, I would like to tell you one thing. As all the declarative sentences are not passive voiced. The same thing, all the imperative sentences are not also passive voiced. What's the reason? The reason is very simple. There must be a transitive of in the sentence. Then uh, the sentence can be called an active voice. If it's an active voice, the sentence can be passive voiced. If it's not an active voice, it cannot be passive voiced. We'll see what is done, what happens. Friends, five sentences are cited here on the board. And they are all imperative sentences. But we do not say each of them is an active voice. Each of them is an active voice. So why? What's the reason? Because there is no object in each sentence. If there had been the object, what question or who question or whom question would have come? There must be what or who or whom question. But it doesn't happen there. Stand up there. There is no object there. So, it is not an active voice. Sit down here. Second question, second sentence. There is no object there. Because what question or who question or whom question doesn't come. So, there is no object here. We do not say this is an active voice. Run away. There is no such question. What question or who question or whom question. So, we do not say this is an active voice. Sentence number four. Get up early. This is not an active voice because there is no object there. Who question or what question or whom question doesn't come here. Okay. Number five. Don't swim in the river. It's not active voice because there is no such object in the sentence. No such questions come there. You cannot create any such question what or who or whom question there. So, there is no object in the sentence. The verb is not a transitive verb. So, we do not say this is in active voice. The previous sentences were not in active voice. So, they cannot be turned into passive voice. But what about these sentences? Five sentences are again cited here. Open the door, write the essay, post the letter, tell the story, and the last one is cook rice. They are all in active voice because there are objects in the sentences. In the first sentence, open the door. The door is the object, so open is the transitive verb. Open is the transitive verb. Write the essay. Essay is the object there, so write is transitive verb. Post the letter. Letter is the object here in the sentence. So, post is transitive of and uh, tell the story. The story is the object here. So, tell is the transitive of. Last one is the cook rice. Rice is the object in the sentence. So, cook is transitive of. All these sentences can be turned into passive voice. But how they can be turned into passive voice, we will see now. Now, we will see how the imperative sentences are turned into passive voice. Okay. There's a very simple rule here, as it's written on the board, very simple rule, okay? First, let plus OAB plus B plus TFB. Again, I'm telling the rule is let plus OAB plus B plus TFB. What are these? First, we should use let at the beginning of the sentence. Then comes OAB. OAB means object of the active voice, okay? Next comes B. The same word must be used there. And the last one is the TFV. TFV means third form of the verb. Okay. So now we'll see the sentence number one. The sentence number one is open the door. The door is object and open is the verb. So according to the rule, what must it be? Okay. First, we should use let. Let the door be opened. It's the passive voice and the active voice is open the door. So how it's done, we'll see. First, we should use let. First, we should use let. Then, uh, the door. The door is the OAB. This is the object of the active voice. The door is the OAB here. Then comes B. The same word should be used. I have already told you the same word. B should be used. So, let the door be. And the last one is the 
TFA, third form of the verb. So, what is the verb here? Open is the verb. Open is the verb. And the third form is opened. So, the passive voice is let the door be opened. Active voice is open the door. Passive voice is let the door be opened. It's sentence number one. Now comes sentence number two. And the sentence is write the essay as it's written on the board. Write the essay. This is active voice. And the passive voice should be let the essay be written. So, the rule is let plus OAV plus B plus TFV. OAV is the essay as it's written here. Object of the active voice. And write is the verb. And its third form is written. Okay. So, what must be the sentence here? Passive sentence is let the essay be written. First, let is used. Next comes the OAV, the essay. Next comes B, the same word. And the last one is the written. It's the third form of the verb of write. So, active voice is write the essay and the passive voice is let the essay be written. The rule is let plus OAV plus B plus third form of the verb. Okay. Now let's see sentence number three. The sentence is post the letter. It's an active voice. And the rule is let plus OAV plus B plus TFV. That means third form of the verb. OAV means object of the active voice. So what must be the sentence in passive voice? First we should use let. Post the letter. Post the letter. It's an active voice. First we should use let. Then comes the letter. It's the OAV. And next comes B, the same word. And the last word is the posted. It's the third form of the verb. The first form is post and the third form is posted. So the active voice is post the letter and the passive voice is let the letter be posted. Sentence number four. The sentence is tell a story. It's an active voice. A story, this is OAV. That means object of the active voice. And tell is the verb here. The rule is let plus OAV plus B plus TFV. It's the rule there. And uh, what must be the passive voice here? First we should use let. Let is used. Next comes the OAV. A story is the OAV here. Next comes the same word B. Let a story B. And the last one is the TFV. Tell is the verb. And the third form of the verb is told. So. The sentence is, let a story be told. It's the passive voice. Active voice is, tell a story. The passive voice is, let a story be told. Now, it's sentence number five. The sentence is, cook rice. It's active voice. Okay? It's active voice. The rule is, let plus OAV plus B plus TFV. Let plus OAV plus B plus TFV. It's the rule. What must be the passive voice? First, we should use let. Let, as the rule says, let is used first. Next comes OAV. OAV is the rice here. Rice is the OAV here. Next comes the same word, B. And the last word is the TFV. Cook is the first form of the verb. And the third form of the verb is cooked. So, the sentence is, let rice be cooked. It's the passive voice. And the active voice is, cook rice. Friends, by the way, we are coming with so many educational videos for you. Just you like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you. Bye.